Welcome to East Coast Health Reviews today. I got another review. Um, another whiskey review. This is Maker's Mark 101 proof. It says limited release. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Um, so 50.5% alcohol by volume. Just like to say, it's my birthday. Um, Happy New Year's, everybody. Uh, picked this up on my birthday. I picked this up. And I also picked up a bottle of Larceny Bower Proof. This is uh, batch number C920. This is 122.4 proof, 61.2%. Um, might do a review on that too, uh, today too, but I'm gonna be doing this one. Um, it says Star Hill Farm, Loretto, Kentucky, USA. Every bottle is dipped by hand. Um, it says our signature red winter wheat bourbon. So this is a weeded bourbon. A signature red winter wheat bourbon whiskey batch for a higher proof, enhancing natural notes of caramel, vanilla, and fruit. On the back, it says a rare taste of our signature bourbon. For generations, we have welcomed special guests at our distillery to sample our signature bourbon at a higher proof. We're now offering this exclusive bourbon to you through this annual holiday release. So you can share it with special guests of your own throughout the season. Like all of our bourbon, we think there's a lot to discover within it. Front of tongue bourbon smoothness, but with richer and more intense flavor from the higher proof. It's definitely different and a rare treat for all that make the pour. Um, so yeah, uh, pops open. I did have a little bit of this already, so I did try it. Um, nice bottle, nice gold lettering. It's not like a uh, sticker or paper, but it's the lettering is actually on the bottle. Looks really nice. Um, it says our signature family recipe, bottled at a higher proof. Um, but yeah, let's go for the pour. Go over the color with you guys. Like the noise the neck makes. So color of the bourbon. Definitely need to get some better lighting. I'm gonna get one of those uh, ring lights. So color of the bourbon, nice orange amber color. Um, pretty sure this is natural coloring. It's a uh, NAS bourbon, so it's no age statement. I'm sure if you look online, you could probably find roughly what it's aged around. Um, but there's no age statement on the box. So we're gonna call it NAS. Like I said, orange amber color, nice color to it. Um, let's go for the nose on this. On the nose, it's got a lot of like uh, baking spices, like nutmeg, some cinnamon. Nice sweetness though as well. So some brown sugar, vanilla, caramel. It also has kind of like a um, like a doughy pastry aroma. Kind of like a confectioner's confectioner's right confectioner's sugar. So like the powdered sugar, it's got a nice sweetness on it. For 50.5%, it uh, definitely smells smooth. It doesn't smell like 101 proof bourbon. Like I said, lots of sweetness. It's not um, overly spicy. I think the sweetness kind of covers up that spice, but you, like I said, you do get a nice aroma of baking spices. A little bit of oak as well. Smells really good, smells really sweet. Let's go for the taste. On the taste, getting the dried fruits, kind of like a raisin. Going towards kind of like a cherry. Um, you also get those barrel characteristics. So you're getting the nice caramel. So sweet uh, toffee. Vanilla, nice astringent oak finish. Also getting a little bit of like dark chocolate. Nice sweetness, super smooth. That dark chocolate definitely uh, is uh, really enjoyable to me. I think that's what I like about this the most, the sweetness as well. Um, yeah, this is good. 
At 101 proof, you definitely wouldn't be able to, if you tasted this wine, you wouldn't be able to t uh, tell that it's 50.5% alcohol by volume. Like I said, really sweet, really smooth, even at that 50.5% price. I paid $38.99 for a $7.50 or $39 for a $7.50. So I got this for $39. I actually paid 50 for this. This is $49.99. So this is uh, 50 which was a really good deal in my opinion. $50 for a barrel-proof weeded bourbon. And I don't think I've had a weeded barrel-proof yet, now that I think about it. Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a good review. But uh, back to the Maker's Mark. I really do like the Maker's Mark for a rating. I'm going to give it a eight and a half. And with that being said, um, the price is very affordable, $39. And uh, just the fact that it's 50.5% and how smooth it is, um, this is definitely a great sipper. And it actually could be a little dangerous considering how smooth it is. Like I said, if you handed this to someone blind, they would not be able to tell that it's 50.5%. Going to recommend it to people who like weeded bourbons. I'm going to recommend it to people who like regular Maker's Mark. And I'm going to recommend it to people who don't like regular Maker's Mark. Because I think this is a lot better. Um, that jump in the 5.5% ABV really changes this up. And uh, yeah, this is definitely just a great weeded bourbon. That I believe that a lot of people who like weeded bourbons would really enjoy. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to recommend it to you guys. Um, I think this is a great pickup. Um, it is limited release, so I'm not sure how often you are going to be able to be able to buy this. Um, I think it says it's a winter release, um, annual holiday release, so I'm guessing around the winter time. Um, but if I see this again and I drink the rest of this, definitely going to pick up another bottle because I really do like this. Also, it would be nice to do a comparison of this and the regular Maker's Mark. Um, I actually don't have any more regular Maker's Mark. I did have some, but I actually finished it. So a comparison of this. And that bourbon would be a great video. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything that you guys like to see on my channel, uh, maybe the, mainly uh, whiskey reviews. If you guys like to see some bourbon or whiskey reviews, or maybe even just mainly like weed to bourbon reviews, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see on the channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more cool videos and like your beer. Thanks for watching. Cheers.